Okay, Neil, you're at the Tour de France Green Edge team plan for next season. What is the situation with the team at the moment? Oh, we're working pretty hard. You know, it's a, there's a lot of work to be done. You know, uh, trying to meet the the deadlines with the UCI, trying to make sure all the structures up and going. Um, that seems to be going well at this stage. And uh, yeah, we're we're hopeful that we we'll probably be able to get a, a pro tour license for next year and be in the big races like the Tour de France. It's quite unusual for a, a future team to be on the race already. I, I don't know whether that's been done much before. So what's the thinking behind that? What's the reason for your presence here? Oh, we just wanted to come and have a bit of a look uh, to show the, uh, our backers what the Tour de France is about, showing a little bit from the inside. Uh, we're pretty serious about the way we go about things. So, yeah, we've already got a, a few of our vehicles. We've got our bus driving around, even though it's on the outside of the, of the peloton, if you like. Uh, the bus is driving around out there, we have a few team cars, a few guests and so we're just trying to get people a bit, a bit of a closer look into what is the Tour de France. Presumably this also shows the riders that it's a serious project. Uh, this uh, around the time of the Tour de France is a time when a lot of deals are being done and although there's an August 1st deadline, presumably, before you can talk about it, presumably there has been a lot of talks at this race? Uh, none. No, no. They're, they're, I think riders are they're uh, they're very busy. You know, they've got a lot of a lot of things to do. You don't need to come to the Tour de France to talk to bike riders. In fact, this day in this day and age, most of the the bike riders have their managers. And uh, yeah, you can, if you want to talk to the managers, you talk to the managers. But we are very respectful of the boys. We leave the leave the boys uh, ride their Tour de France. It's a, it's a it's a big it's the biggest race in the world, and they've got enough uh, on their hands without talking to us. Are you pleased though with how the recruitment is going thus far? Yeah, it's going really good. Yep. So the first year we'll have a, a good strong lineup. Um, I suppose we'll, uh, it's, a, it's an interpretation of what you call a strong lineup. You know, I think we're going to be a very competitive team. Uh, yeah, I think that we will sh we should be able to do well in the classics, maybe in the sprints. Uh, I don't think at this stage we would have uh, one of the big riders like an Andy Schleck or a, or a Cadell Evans on the team. Uh, that might be a couple of years away. We've got to mature. We've got to grow as a team. We've got to try to find our, our place in the peloton I suppose and then uh, maybe in a few years time yeah we'll be up there uh, trying to get one of the big name riders for to try to go for a, an overall win in, the, in one of the biggest races in the, in the world. Finally how significant would this be for Australian cycling I mean obviously you've had top class riders for many years in the peloton but this will be the first time that there will be a team. Oh yeah obviously this has been a dream of a, of a lot of people for, for many years uh, yeah we've, we've uh, we dreamt one day we'll be able to win the uh, we've gone, you know, win the world championships. We've, we've done that. We've, we've dreamt that we'd be able to be on the podium of the Tour de France, and some of our riders have done that. And so to be able to place uh, an Australian team on the on the world program, it's uh, it's a it's a dream come true for a lot of us.